Parnell's Weather School. Hello everybody. We are going to create a rain gauge today. This is going to be a fun project with household items. I'm meteorologist Anthony Farnell. This is my sidekick, Storm the Weather Dog. The sun is shining right now, but there's rain in the forecast. There's always rain in the forecast. And now with gardening season, we have the plants coming. You wanna know, do you have to water the lawn? How much rain fell? How much? Storm, I have a good feeling. I think you're really gonna help out today. For treats, he will do anything, and we have treats. So let's take a look. All you need for this experiment, you need a clear water bottle or pop bottle. You gotta be able to see through it, see how much rain fell. You're gonna need some gravel or pebbles to anchor this down so it doesn't blow away in the wind. You're also going to need some scissors. That is going to be to cut the bottle. You're going to need a ruler and a sharpie to measure how much rain falls on the side and you're also going to need some tape to put it all together. See? Simple enough. Simple <laughs> enough. So let's get started on this experiment. Safety comes first here in the Farnell household so we've got gloves today. I think these are two left hands. Okay, we'll work with it. Well, we won't work with it. We'll, we'll use one glove. All right, let's get to this experiment. So, there is your jar, and we're gonna take the scissors. Storm, I'll handle the scissors. You're gonna do the next step, okay? All right, so you're gonna wanna cut this, pierce a hole into it, and cut it about three quarters of the way up, and then you're gonna go all the way around. Come see come uh, okay that's pretty good all right so now we already have a few stones in the bottom of this this is going to be your funnel for two reasons one the water that does fall in isn't going to evaporate back up into the atmosphere and number two it is going to easily trap any raindrops that are coming in on an angle if there is some wind so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna add a few stones in here. Oftentimes, these, uh, these bottles are not exactly level at the bottom. So that's one of the reasons why we're gonna add a few stones. And as we do that, there you go. It just kind of anchors things down. And now you put the funnel right back on. And you with me still? You with me still? Okay, yes, he is with me. All right, we're gonna need some tape now and we're gonna put all this together. So basically this tape is going to wrap around. There we go, we need a little bit more. And you can make this as fancy as you want. I know a lot of people are artists at home, a lot of kids, uh, once they get their Sharpie, or you can use other color markers, do some clouds, do some raindrops on one side. But the other side, what we're going to use is one more piece of tape, and we are going to attach it like this, just up and down. There you go. So, this is where the ruler comes in. Now, how much do you think is a lot of rain? If you get a thunderstorm in the afternoon, from, hey, hey, over here, buddy. The attention span on this guy, I tell ya. More treats. There you go. Okay. <laughs> um, if you get a thunderstorm in the afternoon, how much rain falls? Well, five, 10 millimeters, that's possible. How about 20 millimeters, 30 millimeters? Yeah, that's possible too. Typically, we're here in Toronto, in an average month in the summer, we get anywhere from 70 to 90 millimeters of rain. How many centimeters is that? Seven to nine centimeters. So we want at least that much room so we can get a month's worth of rain. So let's then take this, we're gonna take our measurements. And again, you're gonna wanna start above the bottom because we're gonna add some water in just to, to get things off to a level start. So we'll do that first zero line and then we'll do one, two, count along everybody, three, four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. If you get 10 centimeters of rain, even if you're in Vancouver, that's a pretty good storm. That's gonna cause, it's gonna cause some flooding. I lost my sidekick, but he lasted longer than I thought he would. Okay, so now let's write those numbers in, starting at zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, there you have it. So before we uh, get things going and, and test it out, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a little bit of water to get it up to the zero mark. So we do that so that we're at a level playing field and then when it does start to rain, we'll be able to calculate exactly how much fell. So let's go up to that zero mark, add in some water. There we go. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do, you're gonna to wanna to find a nice place to put this that is out there exposed to the elements. You don't want it underneath an eaves trough or under a tree where it's gonna get less or more rain than it's typically falling. So you want that exposed to the sky above and then you're gonna wait for that rainstorm to arrive and you're gonna come out here and calculate exactly how much rain fell and then you wait a few days and it rains again, and that is gonna go up and up and up. And finally, at the end of the month, if you write it down every day, you're gonna be able to tell how much rain fell at your house. And then you can compare that with Environment Canada. You can compare that to all the weather stations that we have across the country. You find the one that's closest to you and you can compare and say, hey, I got more rain than my local airport. Maybe I don't need to do my chores, water the lawn, water the flowers. We're good this month. So there you have it. Storm, thank you for your limited help. We have made our very own rain gauge. If you are doing this experiment at home, we want to see pictures. We want to see video. All you have to do is uh, go email us, storm at globalnews.ca. We want to see those pictures and also make sure you share your comment if you like this video and we're going to have more experiments coming up. Take care. Thanks for watching Global News Weather Lesson with Anthony Farnell. If you liked the video, hit the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more weather lessons like this.